Hello everyone, my name is Anjan. I'm joined here by Maarten, also known as Proicon. And Miles Allen, who unfortunately could not join us. Uh, today we're going to be presenting SXMO, Simple X Mobile, a minimalist environment for Linux smartphones. So the current state of mobile interfaces are basically an app drawer, notification center, and widgets. These interfaces are fine for most people, and I hope Flash and Plasma Mobile succeed so that regular users can have software freedom. However, part of the joy of using free software is how extensible it is. With SXMO, we wanted to take full advantage of the fact that we are running a regular Linux environment on a phone and attract power users to the Linux mobile space. The choice of GUI and stack choices, i.e. shell scripts for everything, reflect this objective. Um, so here is what SXML looks when the user first installs it. As you can see, it's very minimal. You have Conky in the background and then multiple desktops as one would expect in a traditional Linux environment. Um, we'll get into exactly what software stack we're using, but before that we want to go over our values. So first and foremost, we want simplicity. Uh, what we want the user to be able to do is understand SXML within a day and if they want a specific feature in their text app, they should be able to understand the code that surrounds it and implement that feature within an afternoon. Uh, the next is extensibility. So one of the examples of extensibility is hooks. Um, it allows, for example, there's a hook ran before you lock your screen and you can program in, in things that should run before you lock your screen. Um, next, we want reuse. We want to reuse existing Linux utilities rather than programming everything from scratch. So GUI apps work perfectly fine in X SXMO, uh, but for example, power users are familiar with command line utilities a lot. So what we tried to do was make command line utilities easier to use on a phone rather than um, reinvent those utilities that the user might be familiar with. So here is the technology that we use for SXML. Uh, basically, we use a lot of shell scripting. So these handle everything from notifications to receiving calls, to sending calls, to receiving text, all the text interface. Uh, the proximity sensor is handled via shell script as well as the auto rotation. You get the idea. Uh, next, we have the suckless tools. So DWM, we add uh, several patches that make sense within a mobile environment. Uh, also, we use dmenu with a largely menu-driven workflow with context menus that determine that changes uh, depending on the app that's in focus. Um, we also use ST and uh, SVKBD. So SVKBD, uh, we took the existing SVKBD but improved it greatly and up upstreamed it back to Suckless. Um, some additions, some tools that we wrote and are specific to SXMO is LISGD, which is the gesture system I talked about previously, as well as Click Clack, which handles haptic and audio feedback on key press, as well as uh, SXMO Screen Lock, which handles uh, screen locks and uh, suspending to crust, uh, as uh, all that stuff. So other prominent technologies used, we use X uh, because that's what DWM and uh, DMenu depend on. We use XDM to log in. This is soon to be replaced because XDM is sort of bloated. Um, we use Modem Manager for calls, text, and data, as well as Network Manager for handling things like Wi-Fi. Um, so SXMO, the primary distribution it works on is a post-market OS and Alpine Linux. Other distributions are being worked on by third parties, but this is our primary target because it resonates well with the simplicity and lightweight character of SXMO. So all the maintainers pretty much run post-market OS and uh, we are working on migrating most of the packages to Alpine directly and uh, we keep a meta environment package in post-market OS. This was recommended uh, by post-market OS that we upstream as much as possible. Right, thanks Anjan. So next we want to show you a bit of all the features that are available in SXMO and the best way to do that is to just show you the phone and demo some of these features. So we will go through a few, the context menus we have, our gesture system, the virtual keyboard, of course calling and texting which is essential functionality for a phone. And then Anjan will take it up again and explain some of the advanced features we have for our more experienced users. 
SXML is primarily controlled through menus. You can press the volume up button to open the menu wherever you are and you will usually get a context dependent menu depending on the application you're in. You can navigate this menu using the hardware buttons. So pressing volume up and volume down will navigate up and down in the menu. You can use the power button to confirm a choice in the menu. This usage of hardware buttons is optional because you can of course also just simply use the touch functionality to select items in the menu and to navigate them. We are using D menu to power the menu and we have implemented extra functionality to enable all the touch functions. And coming back to the issue of the hardware buttons for a second, you'll notice that these hardware buttons do something different on SXMO than you're used to from other uh, smartphones and other operating systems. Next we'd like to introduce the gesture system. The following schematic shows the gesture system and there are all kinds of gestures that you can use to, uh, to affect the environment. Most of these gestures will start from an edge or end on an edge of a screen. So that means that the center of the screen is usually free for the application itself to interpret in case it wants to interpret their own gestures, such as for example Firefox. But even when you have an application that is not gesture aware, such as basic terminal applications, then our gesture system allows you to, to even navigate those uh, to a certain extent. For example, on the right edge of the screen, we have defined a scrolling behavior. So moving your uh, finger up and down on the right side will emulate key press buttons, and those can be interpreted in, uh, in terminal applications. In this example, you see a terminal-based Reddit client browsing the Alpine Linux subreddit. And next you see a simple terminal based file manager called LF, which is like Ranger. And you see also that you can use the gestures here to move left and right in your uh, tree. So this functionality enables you to use uh, good old terminal based applications even on a smartphone, to a certain degree. I want to showcase some terminal based applications that work nicely uh, with SXMO. Here you see WeChat, an ISC client which I'm using over an SSH connection to my server, where it's running in Tmux. Of course, you can always run uh, WeChat natively on your Pine phone. And this is Neomud, my mail client. Back to the desktop, we have gestures uh, on our left side, on the left edge for, uh, for controlling the volume, and on the top edge of the screen for controlling the brightness of the screen. Simple swipes left and right can be used to move between the four virtual desktops that are predefined. A swipe from or onto the bottom edge of the screen will show or hide the keyboard. And closing a window can be done with a two finger swipe down to the bottom edge, or alternatively by a long press down on the hardware volume down button. We also have gestures that start from corners, such as a movement from the bottom left corner that can be used to lock the phone. And a triple press on the power button can wake it again. So SVKBD is our virtual keyboard from Suckless originally and we heavily extended and, and improved upon it. That was a pretty full keyboard experience by default, having a shift key, an old control key, an old key, an escape key. And we use haptic or audio feedback through click clack, which is an external tool, it's not part of the keyboard itself. We typically use either the power button or the gesture to show and hide the keyboard. And here's another good example of a context menu with a, with a shortcut option for the daunting task of quitting and saving VIM. Even with our virtual keyboard that would be a bit of a hassle. If you do a long press on a key, an overlay is likely to pop up that offers extra input options. This is used for extra punctuation and for things like diacritics. The keyboard also consists of multiple layers you can switch between. There are dedicated layers with things like arrows or a dialer. Uh, and there's also a Cyrillic keyboard integrated. If you want to make your own layout, then this is pretty simple by editing the source code. Well, you'd almost forget that this is not your average Linux computer, but that this is in fact a phone. So we're going to demonstrate calling and texting now. So here too we use the ubiquitous D menu for our uh, actions, picking up, hanging up or muting the call. And once we're in a call, we get another menu where we can decide further actions and we, we can hang it up eventually. Texting of course also works. You see that we receive a text and a notification pops up, 
and we're using Dunst for the notifications. And then you can open the menu and you see immediately that you have a notification ready. And from the notification menu, you can access the text. And it will show the history of the text uh, with that same uh, person showing the conversation. We have a simple contacts menu that you can use as an entry point to send a text or a call to, uh, to a person. The actual contacts are stored in a simple tab separated file, but the contacts menu also allows you to uh, do some basic editing. SXMO also re-implements some basic uh, functionality in uh, scripts that are provided with it, such as for example there's a simple dmenu based uh, file browser. There's also a dmenu based uh, Reddit client and a dmenu based weather search service and a, a small YouTube uh, search functionality. All of these are just simple basic shell scripts which uh, provide a simple functionality. And as a user, you can write your own shell scripts and put them in a the user script directory and then they will appear in the menu and you can implement whatever you want. So it is this great customizability which I think is the greatest asset of uh, SXMO. And Anjan will talk a bit further about some of this, uh, these advanced functions. So I've always hated when my phone rings. I want to be notified, but I don't want it to, you know, take all of my attention. So this is my favorite feature, which is basically hooks. Uh, SXMO has hooks, which are user scripts that are ran when the phone is locked, unlocked, receives a text call, etc. Uh, so most people, they just tell MPV to play a ringtone sound. Uh, but in my SMS hook, I simply forward the SMS to my XMPP account using a standard Linux command line tool developed by the Debian project called Go Send XMPP, and I don't need to babysit my phone. Uh, I also uh, programmed the user script to send me a message when I receive a call. So, and if I may break in here, uh, I, I actually do something similar with my uh, ISC notifications, for example. We see here a little demonstration where I just receive a notification from Anjan whilst I was innocently browsing the Alpine uh, Linux uh, Reddit, and then you see the pop-up appear. And this what I implemented here is the other way around because the IRC client runs on my server and the server sends a message to my phone and the phone picks it up with uh, a kind of hook and uh, shows me the notification of the message I, I got. I do actually something similar with my doorbell that, that also rings on my phone if the doorbell goes. So this is just to show the great customizability you have if you own your own uh, system. So this is another lively part of SXMO which is theming and configuration. Um, this is openly supported. We support X resources as well as uh, uh, customizing your XNN RC via that uh, hook. And uh, of course, environment variables are supported. Like the way you customize X SXMO is via environment variables. Uh, but here are a couple of themes that um, we have in our project. And you can easily install these uh, by just changing the X resources file and editing your XNN so this is my favorite feature. SSH on SXMO is a first class citizen. So you are able to read and send SMS, read your notifications, access Bluetooth, pretty much anything you would want to do on your phone remotely. Um, and instead of D menu, you get Viz menu. So if you've ever used the command line utility FCF, uh, Viz menu is basically a suckless version of FCF. So a couple of frequently asked questions, is it daily driver ready? And of course, that depends on your use case. I personally am using uh, it as a daily driver and a lot of the maintainers are. I asked this on the mailing list and a lot of users wrote in with their experience trying to daily drive SXMO and the Pine phone. Uh, you can read their experience by searching daily driver on uh, SXMO Devel mailing list. Uh, so how Suckless is SXMO? So Suckless has their own philosophy. Uh, we do use the Suckless stack, so DWM, ST, Surf, etc. But patch those programs by default to include features that we think are necessary on a phone, such as the Swallow patch in, in DWM, and enable sane defaults, such as touch support for Firefox. We also add configuration like X resources uh, support to most Suckless tools. So overall, this is not very suckless. Uh, you can think of SXMO as a distribution of suckless tools for touch devices. We try to prevent feature creep, but our definition of feature creep is different than upstream. Also, we have a lot of documentation and try to keep it up to date. So support for other devices is sort of a work in progress. 
Uh, a lot of stuff works out of the box, but making scripts more device independent is much appreciated. Uh, this is one of the reasons I'm happy with choosing PostMarket OS. There is a com community of PostMarket OS users that want to port SXMO to other phones, such as we've gotten uh, patches for Librem 5 and Nexus 5. Uh, we'd like to make SXMO uh, we would, we'd like to make sure that SXMO won't live and die by the Pine phone. So all of our development, uh, mailing list, uh, bug tracker, as well as documentation is done on SourceHut. Uh, it's called SXMO on SourceHut. Uh, we have also have IRC um, at the hash SXMO and hash SXMO dash off topic channels on Freenode. Uh, and also here are links to the maintainer's personal websites as well as Fediverse accounts. So follow us on the Fediverse as well as our personal websites. I personally sometimes post about SXMO on my personal website, but sometimes it's unrelated. Uh, but thank you for AlpineConf for hosting us. Um, this was a lot of fun and I'm glad we got to share our work with the community.